The automatic roof hatch opener is designed to fit most hatches. Your hatch will most likely be different than the one presented in this video. You should always use PPE when installing the RHO, as well as use appropriate fall protection when working at height. Required tools. These are the tools and parts necessary for install. Pause the video and take time to familiarize yourself with each part. The first step in assembling your RHO will be to center the back bracket in the hatch. Line up the bottom of the back bracket, even with the bottom of the hatch curb, then mark the center of the slotted holes. Drill each mark with a quarter inch drill bit. Secure the back bracket with the 5 16 inch body bolts. Let the bolts thread themselves. Be careful not to over tighten. With the lid open, mark the center point of the inside latch. Line up your door plate with the center mark of the latch. Mark the eight outer holes. It may be easier to mark and drill a top corner first to allow you to ensure the bracket is straight with a level before marking the rest. Then drill with a quarter inch drill bit. Install the door plate using the 5 16 inch body bolts. Now drill the four inner holes, corresponding with your hatch size. Mount the rocker bracket with the flat side down using the 5 16 inch body bolt. Keep the bolts loose enough to slide the rocker bracket up and down. This will help with the adjustment later. Remove the latch. Assemble the latch bracket with the turnbuckle using the clevis pin and some washers. Secure it with a cotter pin. Slide the push-on lock washer over the square latch rod and secure it in place. Reinstall the latch. Remove the spring or the gas strip. It's important to remember the springs are under extreme pressure. Use caution when removing. Use caution after the struts are removed to ensure that the lock keeping the latch lid open does not fail. This can be achieved by zip tying the kickstand in place until the actuator is installed.
repeat the same process on the other side. Install the DIN rail center above the back bracket using the quarter inch body bolts. You need to mark and drill the holes with a 9 64 inch bit. Mount the electronics on the DIN rail, appropriately spaced. The battery is an optional add-on. Start with the DC plug. It plugs into the bottom right port of the controller and the bottom left port of the signal box. An additional DC plug will go in the top left port of the signal box and the other end will plug into the left port of the backup battery. The CAT5 cable goes in the lower left port of the controller and plugs into the bottom port of the signal box. The actuator cable goes into the upper port of the controller. Leave the other side for now. The main power cable goes into the upper right port of the controller. Plug in the receiver on the left side of the controller. Attach the actuator to the back bracket using a three inch bolt some washers, and two nylon spacers. Plug the actuator into the actuator cable. Then plug the AC cord into an outlet to power the Arho. Wait 10 seconds or until the receiver begins to flash. Now pair the remote with the receiver by pressing both the up and down arrows of the remote simultaneously until the blue light on the receiver stops flashing and goes solid. You are now paired. Extend the actuator all the way out and connect it to the rocker bracket. Use the three inch locking pin and two nylon spacers on either side of the shaft to connect the actuator. With the actuator installed, the first thing you must do is remove the kickstand. Failure to remove the kickstand can result in damage to the Arho. Check the back bracket and make sure the bolts are snug. Close the hatch all the way. While doing so, Notice how the rocker bracket moves backward and forward. This is normal. Tighten the four bolts on the rocker bracket. When you start to open the hatch, the latch will be engaged. The latch needs to clear the striker before the lid moves up. To adjust it, twist the turnbuckle to move the latch. Once the turnbuckle is adjusted properly, tighten the jam nut so that the turnbuckle doesn't loosen and cause damage in the future. Once everything has been adjusted and is functioning properly, use the self-tapping screw to lock in the rocker bracket. Your automatic roof hatch opener is now complete.